Rose, I'd like you to meet my ex-husband, Stan Spornak. Hello. And this is his hair. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you both. Stanley, would you be a dear and get me some champagne? Yeah, it's always a pleasure to get a drink for an attractive woman. Oh. I get one for you too, Dorothy. <laughs> The moment that worm slithered into your life, I knew he was no good. <laughs> what kind of a man has so little respect for the institution of marriage that he can cheat on a wonderful woman and jump into bed with the first available bimbo who comes along? But enough about you, Stan. <laughs> well, I gotta go now. I'm on my way to surprise Catherine with this. Now, what do you think? I think Lisa Bonet spent more on the ring in her nose. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Stanley. It's beautiful. I'm sure Catherine will love it. You mean it? Not a word. <laughs> Babe, it's a real diamond. What's wrong with it? I think the more appropriate question is, where is it? <laughs> okay, the diamond's not very big. Okay, it's not a real diamond. It's a thought that counts. Okay, I didn't put much thought into it. It was cheap. I'm cheap. What can I tell you? You look fantastic. Please, please, Stan. No hugging, no kissing. Let's just do it and get it over with. Sounds like the last few years of our marriage. <laughs> I wish it was that good. You will never guess what I went out and bought today. It's got white wall tires, original upholstery, and it's the same one we took to our senior prom. Stan, that's impossible. No, Dorothy, don't give up. We'll get this. Um... Seeing Dorothy again made me realize how superficial my relationship with you really was. Sure, the sex was great. Terrific, actually. <laughs> but it's okay with Dorothy, too. <laughs> she never could hold her liquor. <laughs> Morning. I guess you ladies didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> we think that Kate may be pregnant. Wow. That's incredible. That makes me... Hey, yeah, some things never change. <laughs> we just wanted to stop by and wish you luck in case we don't see you again. <laughs> Before you leave. For the hospital. Not another world. I <laughs> Let's not bother him anymore. Let's stay and rest in peace. <laughs> Where did it go wrong, Dorothy? Oh, who knows? These things happen. Oh, I remember. I wasn't happy at home under the sheets. <laughs> Dorothy, you're hurting me. <laughs> I mean it. You're really hurting me. She left me. <laughs> what? Chrissy left me for a younger man. <laughs> Younger than Chrissy? Where did she meet him, Camp Snoopy? <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. What the hell? You deserve to gloat a little. I deserve to gloat a lot. <laughs> but I can't. I, I know what the pain is like, and I wouldn't wish it on... I don't know how to finish that sentence. I usually say Stan. <laughs> My God, what are you kids doing in there? It's all right, officer. We're divorced. <laughs> Finally, where have you been? I got away as soon as I could. You do have the Studebaker, don't you? Almost out of gas and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> My mother found out about this. She would kill me. Dorothy, I'm getting a feeling that maybe you're ashamed of me. Oh, Stanley, don't be silly. Get down! <laughs> Eat your potato. What? Oh, honey. No, I know it's a very important vegetable to you, but I'm really stuffed. <laughs> and stick your finger in it. Come on, I don't ask much. Oh, all right, but we're going to get you a hobby. <laughs> Something hard in here. It's a... It's a... It's a scalding hot ring! <laughs> oh, Stan, it's beautiful. <laughs>